Hi, this is Mark from Wicked Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily add scrolling text to your Elementor website. The good news is this can be done using the free version of Elementor and isn't going to require any additional plugins. We're going to pull this off by just using CSS code. The old way to pull this off was using an HTML tag called Marquee. As you can see, this tag is no longer recommended, so I'm not going to cover how to do this. Um, it used to be that you just add this right here, a really simple HTML tag, and you can have your text float around the screen uh, just like this. I'm going to show you the new current way, which is using CSS code. Let's just jump right into it. I'm going to break this tutorial into two different sections. The first section is I'm going to cover how you can have text scrolling across the whole browser window, just like that right up here at the top. And then the second section, I'm going to show you how you can do this type of scrolling where it gets cut off at the width of the whole container right here. Here we are on the back end of the website. And like I said in the beginning of this video, you do not need Elementor Pro to pull this off, but I am gonna be using it because it's easier to show you how to do it in real time. So all the CSS code I'm gonna cover in this tutorial, you can put into your customizer or wherever you put your custom CSS. In this example, I just wanna animate this right here. And as you can see, I have my navigator open right here. This is just a simple heading a widget right here. And if you look right here under content, I just have it as an H2. So I want to animate that all the way across the screen. The very first thing we need to do is just go ahead into your advanced and add a CSS class for this heading. So in this case, I'm just going to call it a marquee heading. The next step is to paste in the following CSS code. And I am going to have all of these codes in the link in the description below. Like I said, I'm using Elementor Pro, and I just went over here to the page settings under advanced and custom CSS. That's where I'm gonna be putting all of this CSS code. So let me just quickly walk you through this code and how it works. So the very first thing you need to do is add your CSS class. So if you remember, we had it right here. We have the CSS class of marquee heading. So that's what we're gonna be calling this animation. So you do marquee heading, and then in this case, it's an H2. So if I went in here and let's say I change this to an H1, it's going to break. So whatever you choose right here, you would just need to declare it in your CSS code. So in this case, H2. The next step is we need to tell it how we want to animate it. So you do that with this CSS code animation. And then this right here is the name of the animation. So this needs to be unique. So in this case, I'm calling it CSS marquee. The next variable is how long do you want the animation to take? So in this case, um, 10 seconds seems to be okay. So you can change this to be any slower, faster. If you wanted it to be one second, you can see it's just gonna zoom across the screen. If you did 100 seconds, it's gonna crawl really slow. So I think 10 seconds is good in this case. And then this next one is how is the animation gonna perform from one end to the other? So in this case, I just want it to be linear. So that means it's not gonna ease in or out. So it's gonna be just a straight animation. And then this one right here is infinite. So this is how many times you want it to loop. So if you have infinite, it's just gonna loop forever. If you just want it to be one or two times, you would just go up here and just type in two. And then the CSS code knows it's gonna stop after two times. So let me put in infinite again. Then the next set of CSS code is how are the keyframes gonna work? So the way you do it is you do at keyframes and you put in your unique name right here of your animation. So this is just using this right here. You just copy and paste that right here. And the way it works with animations is it needs to have a starting point and an end point. So in this case, we just want it to start way over here where my mouse is and just animate over. And to do that, you can just do it with a simple code called transform and then translate X. So X means that it's just gonna animate on the X coordinates, which is just from left to right. And if you're not familiar with what VWs are, this is viewport width. And what that means is, let me make this bigger. Viewport width, if you see my mouse right here, this is the viewport width, the width of the browser window. So it works by where my mouse is, that's zero. And then over here, where my mouse is, that's 100. So a viewport width of 100 means the whole width. And so you just type in that variable right there, 100 VW. So it starts at 100 viewport width and it will end at negative 100. And so it will go all the way across. So this is how it looks in the front end of the website. And as you can see, it's animated all the way to negative 100 viewport width. And then it's gonna come right back. 
There it is right there. So if you notice down here, if you see where my mouse is, when you start to go off the screen with these elements with CSS, it's going to add that scrolling bar. You see that right there? Let's go ahead and remove that. It's very simple to do. What you need to do is select the section that your animation's in right here and go to overflow and just make that hidden. Hit update and now let's test that on the front end of the website and you're going to see the scroll bar is not going to appear anymore. Because anytime they have elements that go off the browser window, it's automatically going to add that scroll bar. So this is a really good case where you're just going to want to hide that. Now in this part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to have the animation stop at the width of your column. So in this case, you can see the column is right here. So we're going to have it where it disappears right here and it's not going to go all the way to the edge of the browser. So same thing, we just go ahead and make sure that that um, heading has a CSS class. So in this case, marquee heading. Same thing here, we're just going to paste in the following CSS code. And it looks very similar to the first one, it's just a few small differences. So let's go ahead and go through it real quick. So we have marquee heading, which is the same, your H2 tag, animation, uh, same thing here. We called the animation CSS marquee, and that's what I refer to it right down here in the keyframes. I have this one going at 15 seconds. And instead of using the linear, this is using the ease in and out. So that's gonna be right here. It's gonna slowly, you see how it kind of slowly fades in and then it kind of slowly goes. That's ease in, ease out. Makes it where it's not just a straight from one end to the other. And same thing here, I have it on infinite. And this next thing is using the alternate uh, animation direction. So I'm going to leave a link to this in the description if you want to read more about it. But you can actually reverse your animations or in this case it will alternate. So it's going to go one way and then come back. So this is a really cool thing to start reading about if you want to learn how you can do different animation directions. So that's what makes it go from one side to the other and back. And this right here, if I take this out, let me show you what happens. This is similar to when we added the overflow hidden on this section. We want to have it where it cuts off somewhere. And by using this overflow hidden code right here, this is telling the animation to stop at the width of this container right here. So you can see it's stopping right here where the blue is. And here in the keyframes, we're just declaring a 0%, 50% of the animation, and 100%. So just like the first one, we're just going to use the translate X. And in this case, I'm using percentages. So what it's doing is it's going 100% negative first. So it's going to end up around here. Go back to zero, which this right here is zero. And then I have it go 100% off the screen here. And then it just loops back, goes back to negative 100%, then zero. So that's what's really cool. And like I said, if you wanna have this even go faster, like that's a little slow, like maybe five seconds. You can see right here, maybe that's a little too quick. So maybe like the 10 seconds will be a good in, in between. Now, if you go in and start to change these values here, you can make it where it's not having this big delay. So you can see there's kind of a delay, it's over here and it comes back. That's because we're pushing it a little bit too far. So what you can do is just start to play around with these numbers. And this is going to change depending on what you know your text says or whatever it may be. So in this case, I think 80% is going to work good. So it's going to go 80% over here and then kind of come back. So you can see the delay is not as much. And that's it for this CSS animation tutorial. Let me know if you're able to use this on your website and if you want me to make more videos like this in the future. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new Elementor tutorials like this. Thanks, this is Mark from Wikidesign.